goal of this video is to supplement the written instructions that you have for using the equation editor in Microsoft Word. My intention here is simply to make the quadratic equation using either a long approach or a short approach. So I've got the quadratic equation already copied into a Word document so you can see what we're aiming for. I'm now going to come up here and click insert and then come over to equation. Now you can select this sort of toggle switch which allows us to see the various things that we can do in various already made equations but for our purpose really what we're interested in is just getting uh, this window so that we can start to type the equation in. Alright so I'm going to start off by typing x equals and the idea here is that I have a fraction and in a sense, this long approach, which I'm using right now, we, we have to anticipate ahead of time the various things that we're going to need in this equation. So I'm going to need a fraction. So I click the window up here, or the toggle up here, and I, I have various fractions that I can put in and some common fractions. I'm going to just pick the regular default one, the common one. And then the idea is that I want to insert these brackets with the minus b plus or minus the square root sort of thing. And so the idea is that the thing that's in the uh, numerator is within brackets. So then I'm going to have to select brackets. There's various brackets that uh, we can choose. I'm just going to select the first set of brackets. And now everything that I type in in this box will be within brackets. So I'm going to type in minus b and then I will need to insert a symbol. So I can't just type plus or minus. I'm going to have to insert a symbol. So plus or minus. And then I'm going to need to insert the square root. So I come over here under the radical choice. And I see square root. Now there are various square root formats that we can put in. Notice that we could have actually already put in a already made quadratic equation. But anyways, I'm just trying to talk you through using Equation Editor. So now let's put the square root button in. And now within the square root, we want to put b squared minus 4ac. Now the b squared includes a superscript. And so now I'm going to have to come to my, uh, well, selected within or underneath the square root. I will now have to choose this script button and make a superscript and then I type in in this first part B and then in the superscript part 2. Now the idea is that I, I don't want to keep on typing as a superscript and so I'm going to use my arrows on my keyboard and in a sense move forward so I I just clicked the arrow that, that points to the right and now I can type the rest of the equation that goes within the square root. So minus 4ac. Okay, great. So now uh, I've completed the numerator. All those things are within the brackets. And now I go down to the denominator and type in 2a. And I'm done. We can position this equation in various spots within the document. And perhaps I should just stop for a minute. Remember that any time that you are doing a formal report or a mini formal and you need to include an equation, we ask you to do it properly, that is using Equation Editor. And then usually you'll do it on a single line outside of any paragraph and label the equation as equation 1, equation 2, so that that equation can be referred to in your text. Okay, so that was the long way of making the quadratic equation. Now, the short way is not just to take the already pre-made template, but the short way in this case is to take a couple of shortcuts, which are also described in the document the written instruction document that has been made available to you. So once again, I'm going to come to Insert Equation, and I'm just going to click on that button, and now I'm going to start typing X equals, 
And then rather than make the fraction uh, using this, this button up here, I'm simply going to start to type in what I need to have. So I'm going to need to have some brackets. So I just use the bracket feature on my keyboard, minus B. I will need to select the symbol up here, so plus or minus. And I will need to select the square root. So I just selected the square root. And now I'm going to be typing in the B squared. This, this shortcut feature it has some real advantages, or it really speeds things up. So now I type in B, and then the hat feature, if you will, on the keyboard. So there it is, squared. OK, now, so here's the, the key. I now type or press on the space button. So space, haha, <laughs> B squared, nice. Uh, note that the B squared is selected. And in a sense, everything's kind of grayed in that area there. So everything that I'm about to type is still sitting underneath the square root. So now I type in minus 4ac, OK? And I want to complete the bracket. Now I want to show you something. If at this stage all I do is go uh, uh, shift bracket, uh, what's happened here is that we haven't, in a sense, completed the bracket that I began um, at the beginning of writing this equation. And so now if I click space, it still means that everything is under the square root. So there's, there's a little subtlety here that I need to, uh, to pay attention to in order to be able to complete this equation. So I'm going to now backspace and undo what I was doing there. So right now, everything is sitting underneath the square root. So what I need to do is, once again, uh, push my, my direction arrow. And I'm going to push the arrow that's pointing towards the right. And in a sense, get out of being with underneath the square root. So push that direction arrow. Now I'm outside of the square root. Now I can click bracket. And if I click space, you can see that now the brackets are finished around both the minus b and the square root. Put the uh, slanted forward button to a. And then here's the beauty. If I now click space, you can see that it makes that nice fraction for me. Now, that was a fair amount of explanation, so it may have seemed like this wasn't particularly fast to do. So let's do that one more time. Right? So insert equation x is equal to bracket minus b. I need to use this plus or minus symbol. I need to use the square root symbol. Okay. Then I make sure I type within here b hat squared space minus 4ac forward uh, or to the right uh, arrow. Then close the bracket or write that bracket and then space the forward slash 2a space equation is done. There are a number of shortcuts that can be used in an equation editor, um, but certainly in your written instructions, a number of the more important ones have been provided to you. So hopefully you found this video helpful in using the equation editor. Thank you.